Hi y'all, it's Suzette. Welcome back to my channel, Non-Toxic Glitters. I'm so happy to be making a YouTube video today. It's been a really long time since I've made content for y'all, especially a YouTube video. I moved and I'm finally getting settled in, so I am ready to start making more YouTube videos. I've been trying to be active on IGTV and then posting, but I am ready to make YouTube videos for y'all. So. This is gonna be my first one for a while and I'm really excited because it's going to be, I'm gonna start doing more YouTube videos. Um, I really wanna to cater to my followers that are looking for more for affordability. And um, so I've been really just trying to play with all of my more affordable clean beauty products so that it's easier to get a hold of. Cause you know, clean beauty is expensive so I definitely want to show y'all options for people that are looking for more budget-friendly options. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to be featuring Honest Beauty. Uh, I thought it would be a great idea to kind of do more affordable products for this month because of course it's the holiday season. So that way if you're looking for gifts for anyone or for yourself or something that you are wanting to try, this would be a great way to see what you think of the product. So it is going to be about Honest Beauty today, which is clean beauty. Um, and the creator is Jessica Alba. I love her stuff. I've been using my Honest Beauty products for a while. And they were so amazing to send me over their newer, these guys, if you, hopefully you can see good because of the light. But this is the lit, the lit Powder Blush. So they sent me over four. So what that look like. So, and I have been playing with this shade here. This is Flirty. And this is the one I'm gonna feature. I am gonna swatch them all for you. But I really, I wanted to wear this one today, but I am going to be swatching them all for you. So I'm really excited. And then I'm going to be using all Honest Beauty today for my look. So I'm just going to pull my hair back and then we're going to start, okay? And I do have a little bit of Christmas music playing in the background. So my super cute, funny little Christmas tree, if you can see it. So I've already prepped my skin. So now I am going to use my primer. This is the Everything Primer. So I'm just gonna shake it up. I like focusing this on my cheeks mostly, um, just because I tend to get pretty oily in my, my T-zone, y'all know I have combination skin. So I'm just gonna focus like mostly right here. All right, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. You can see it. And the great thing about um, Honest Beauty products as with most clean beauty, it's pretty much has no fragrance. I know y'all hear me talk about fragrance all the time. Um, I really don't like it. Um, I don't like adding anything extra like that to my skin, especially with my KP. So I just try not to get too much, um, as little as fragrance as possible. Essential oil doesn't bother me. I love essential oils and I use it, so, but, okay, there's that. Just a nice, pretty glow. All right, now I'm going to move on to, we'll let that set for a second. I already prepped my eyelids with eyelid primer, so I'm going to do my eyelids first and then move in for the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to be showing y'all, this is the eyeshadow palette. This is what I'm going to use for my look today. And this is the Get It Together eyeshadow palette. So let me, I always have a little plastic on there, but I'm gonna flip it off so you can see. And you can see all the beautiful colors that it's got. So it's huge and it's super inexpensive. I think this was approximately $19.99. So, I mean, you get eight shades here and then well technically 10 shades and then you get this nice like highlight and then you get this black which you can use this is a matte black you can use as like uh eyeliner you can blend it in for like a smoky look but the colors are actually gorgeous so i am going to go in with this shade first here i think that one's called iced cotton i don't want to flash the mirror in front of y'all the time so i'm gonna go in with that one first
Okay, which is the ice cotton. So I'm gonna show y'all how pretty it is. And I am gonna blend it out. I'm just kind of starting at the base. So now I'm gonna take the other shade that I've been working with a lot, which is right here. This one. And this is soft bronze, sorry. Kind of confuses me a little bit about how they have the shades on here. And then I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit and just do the corner here. This bronze shade over here that's like that like shimmer. It's so pretty. And the price is just, I just can't get over how inexpensive it is for so many different shades. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend it out with my blending brush. I really want to focus more on like my skin and then I really want to highlight that blush so not too crazy on the eyes today. Blend it out now for y'all. Okay, of course, Honest Beauty, this is the liquid liner. It's really, really amazing. Super black, easy to apply. And I like just kind of getting that excess off. And I'm just gonna do a super thin line today, nothing too heavy. is the cream this is the um, everything cream foundation and this is the shade camel so i like using a brush to apply this let me show you I used it quite a bit and this is the shade it's perfect for my skin um, and it does come with a little little puff here and it's not that i don't want to use it i just I just kind of want to wait a little bit till i get to the bottom i just i'm worried about that so i just think it's so pretty to look at but yes, this is the shade and it's perfect for my skin. It's like a perfect medium warm. So I like using just a foundation brush, dipping it in and then blending it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I just have a clean, actually, of course I have the new one that I keep forgetting about, so I'm gonna try that. So I'm just gonna use a clean foundation brush, poke it in and then apply. I'll show y'all one side and then the other. biggest concern is just covering up my redness from the KP so it's on both sides so but you can just see like how little I apply and I just kind of push it into my skin and it just blends it out and hides that redness without looking like I just put on a whole bottle or a whole 
compact of makeup. So there is with nothing, it's all my redness, and then there's after. So pretty. I'm gonna even myself out, and then I'm gonna do a little bit, use a little bit as concealer. There's the application. I love how beautiful it looks and smooth, natural looking, like my skin, just not red. So now I'm gonna do concealer on both sides. So I'm gonna dip it in with a tiny little brush. So there's no concealer here on this side, and then there's a little bit on that side here, so. Perfect. Do my, set my face because I'm combination so get my powder here this is the invisible blurring loose powder it's really really awesome it doesn't do anything crazy it's just a powder um, but it keeps me nice and matte and then doesn't budge my makeup so that's what it looks like little tiny brush and then just set my under eye area I'm gonna do the same thing on the rest of my face. I like focusing the powder on my forehead the most because that is where I get the most oil. <clears throat> and then just a tiny bit on my the rest of my face. That way it stays and it's not budging. Okay, now the fun part. So these are the powder blushes I was telling y'all about and I'm going to swatch and then I'm going to apply flirty for you. So this is flirty. It's this beautiful pink shade. I have been using it, playing with it. That's what it looks like. It's, it's literally my shade. Y'all know I always gravitate towards the same shades. Perfect pink color. I love it. There's that one. I'm gonna use that one today. This is Foxy. It's definitely we're getting delivered, but that's okay because I'm still gonna use them. So this is Foxy. Sorry, I don't want it to break. You can see that. So, this is Frisky, which the name is hilarious. I love that. 
I mean, it's very, very cute. That's frisky. Love that. Let me swatch it. Ooh. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Okay. This is Femme, which the name is gorgeous, and unfortunately it broke. Cracked when I got it delivered, but it's okay. So this is what it looks like. Still waiting to see it. It's it's just stunning. A little swatch. I don't have it fall everywhere. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Ooh, beautiful. Here's flirty again. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit on the blush brush. It is clean. I also I'm just gonna dip it in. It's kind of a lot, but it's a lot. Still a lot. That's okay. So I'm, I like pushing my blush into my skin. I'm smiling. There we go. Told you it's pigmented, y'all. There it goes. Easy. All right, I always tell y'all the truth about everything I use. I'm never going to tell y'all I love a product if I don't, and I'm never gonna tell y'all that it's the best or whatever if I don't feel that way. Um, so unfortunately, I am not a fan of this eyebrow pencil only because of the shade. I feel like there's only two shades unless they updated, and I feel like that's not really good for my eyebrow color because my eyebrows are so dark. So this is what I use and I push down pretty hard, which kind of pulls out my brow hair. But if they had a darker shade, it would be perfect. So it is amazing. The formula is wonderful. It's just way too light for my brows. I guess it just looks weird. I don't know how to explain it. I make it work. So I'm gonna brush through. And y'all know I have very low maintenance brows. So I just fill in. Just do a nice subtle fill in. I know it's silly looking. And then there. So there's my brows and then I forgot to tell you all the shade this is this is just brown just brown but like y'all can see kind of has like that grayish brown which is too light for me so the formula is amazing it, it it has it feels like it's like a waxy kind of feel so it kind of keeps my brows tamed which is awesome but I just the color is just not right for my brows it's just too light so that's the only thing I will say about that so my brows are done last thing we're gonna do of course is my mascara and my obsession, which is their mascara primer combo. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go in first with my little primer, my little brush. This is gonna go in my 2020, 20, my 2020, my 2020 favorite mascaras for sure. And one other one, which I don't wanna spoil everything, but I already can tell that I'm gonna put this in there. Every time I wear this mascara, everybody compliments me on my lashes. It's just so beautiful. Primer's on. I like letting it set for a second. Okay, I'm gonna do my mascara.
Here's my bottoms. I have really long upper lashes, so I have to be really careful with how I apply mascara, I've learned, or it'll just get everywhere. So I find like doing the wiggle technique seems to help, and plus I'm literally looking as low as possible with the mirror. I know it sounds silly, but it kind of makes it so that my mascara doesn't smudge everywhere because like it'll get all over the top of my lids because my lashes are really long. I know it's weird, but everybody has their weird way of applying mascara, I feel like. And then, there you go. And then, of course, you can apply layer after layer with this mascara, which I love. It's buildable. And it won't, like, flake, of course. It doesn't flake at all. It stays all day. I don't have any eye irritation with it. So there's my, all my honest beauty look. I hope y'all enjoyed my video. I'm so happy to be back with y'all. Um, more content is gonna be coming for sure. This month, of course, is geared for the holidays and affordable, clean beauty, not just makeup, anything you can think of. Please let me know, drop me comments, send me DM, DMs on Instagram. My handle is nontoxicglitters. Um, and I've missed y'all so much and I hope you all enjoyed my video. Bye.